Fox Sports Outdoors is on there. My name's Captain Rob Ferris, and I'm going to be your guest host this week. I'm going to take my Mako 21 LTS, and we're going to a little outside its comfort zone. We're going to go outside the jetties and run up and down the coast, Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. This week, we'll see what we can find. You're watching the only program with weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news from the Southeast region. This is Fox Sports Outdoors. Hey folks, welcome to Fox Sports Outdoors. We are at Ocean Isle Beach, North Carolina. I've got my good friend, Barrett McMullen. Barrett, you know, your family runs Ocean Isle Fishing Center, right? For yeah. years, right? Yes, sir. We've been here for 16, 17 years at the Ocean Isle Fishing Center. We've got full service restaurant, tackle shop, charter boats, the whole nine yards. Well, I, uh, I call in a favor. I, I, it's just a balmy day offshore and we uh, just need to find some fish. So I called in an expert this week. Um, Bear, what's our plan today? Well, I, I don't know about expert, but uh, <laughs> hopefully we can get on some fish. Um, what I'd like to do, Rob, is a little something, maybe a little different than what we would normally expect to go do. We, we all like the glamour species out there, whether it's a, a mahi-mahi or a wahoo or a kobe or something like that. And that's fun and we certainly have that fishing here. But I'm going, we got a short time window, we got good weather, we got a bay boat, I'm thinking, let's go do sharks. That's cool, that's cool, I like sharks. It's, it's different, and, and but what we have here is kind of a unique thing that happens here is uh, we have a big shrimping industry up and down our coastline here. The shrimp boats get out there and they're towing and they create a lot of bycatch. And what that means is it's all the, the stuff that they're, anything but shrimp, it's all the small fish and the sharks come in and they eat all that. So it creates a pretty cool fishing opportunity for us we pull up behind the shrimp boats. Mm -hmm. Sharks hopefully are there behind the shrimp boats. We throw our line in and, and we hold on. It's All not right. not much fishing, a lot of catching. Well, the Mako 21 LTS bait boat is ready to go. We are gonna get rigged up and ready to get on the water. We're gonna go back to the FSN studios and see your weekend planner. The Salooner tables are predicting fair fishing conditions for both days this weekend. Peak morning hours are forecast to begin at 740 on Saturday and 829 on Sunday, while the best fishing times in the evenings should generally take place around dusk. Look for the sun to rise at 619 and set at 837. And evenings will feature a crescent moon that is 37% visible. Hang with us for fresh water and coastal information from around the region. Plus, Bassmaster Angler Ott Defoe joins us for the Ask the Pro segment to talk about smallmouth bass fishing. So we are getting ready to go out on the water and Barrett said we're gonna do some shark fishing today. So what's the tackle? Well, I had to dig back into my vault here of my charter fishing career that lasted about 15 years, but about 15 years ago. So I'm pulling out the old tricks here. We're gonna be using circle hooks, okay. just like that. Um, we're gonna try to catch some menhaden for bait and we'll put them on these circle hooks. And what these circle hooks are gonna allow us to do is hopefully to hook these sharks right in the corner of the mouth so we're gonna we're gonna have a good hook set, but we're also gonna be able to get the hooks out of the shark, which is just as important oh, yeah, as getting them get, in the shark. You release them back in the water. And we've got some some medium heavy gear here. I mean, this is a, I think this is a 30 pound class rod, and um, you know you want something with some good backbone. These fish are anywhere from 30 to 100 pounds, so we got to be prepared to catch some big fish today. And I think we've got maybe 40 pound line on here. And um, pretty simple setup, Rob. There's really not a whole lot to it, you, despite what you might think. Um, with sharks and big teeth, we're actually not gonna use any wire leader today because of our circle hooks. This is monofilament leader. Uh, I believe this is 200 pound monofilament leader. And because we're gonna hook the sharks right in the corner of the mouth, the line will never get into their teeth. That's awesome. And that's, uh, that's, that's it, man. That's the name of the game right that's there. That's great, we'll be able to release them to swim and be caught another day, right? That's the plan. Sounds good. All right, well, while we get down the water, Let's go to a commercial break and uh, we'll be back with more action. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Lose, fueled by passion, driven by innovation. Feel the difference. Jean LaRue Bass Baits and Bobby Garland Crappie Baits, the leaders in soft plastic lures innovation. And Nitro Performance Fishing Boats. Champions aren't born, they're made. Okay, watch this. Oh gosh. It won't take long. Who's gonna be the lucky contestant? <laughs> there, oh. there you go. <laughs> Welcome back folks to uh, Fox Sports Outdoors. Captain Rob Ferris, my good buddy Barrett McMullen here. We are 
We are shark fishing today. We pulled yeah. up behind a come here, boys. shrimp boat. Come here, boy. <laughs> and uh, we're looking for some nice big sharks to, uh, to bend some rods. It's been a, a pretty balmy day out here today. And I'll tell you what, this is more fun uh, sometimes than being way offshore trolling all day Whoa. and getting one or two fish. <clears throat> okay, watch this. Oh gosh. It won't take long. Who's gonna be the lucky contestant? There, oh. there you go. <laughs> we are playing with the sharks today. Ugh. And I tell you what, there is, this is a lot of fun. But this has actually become a pretty big sport in the area, is it not, Barry? Oh, man. It, it has. It's like I said, it's, it's not glamorous, but man, <laughs> there's not, oh, it's a heck of a lot better than not catching fish. Is that coming out here and tangling with these guys? That's for sure. Oh man, that's for sure. They are fun and they are plentiful. They are plentiful. Oh my gosh. Well, wife, while, while we fight this guy to the boat, we are going to uh, see what's happening in your area with some local fishing reports. We'll be right back. Hey folks, it's time for your Carolina's report brought to you by the Dead Dog Saloon. You know, we're located on the Marsh Walk in Burles Inlet and we got one of the best views around, but here it's not just about the view. We've got the best food and we've got the best music. Come down and see what all the locals are talking about here at the Dead Dog Saloon located on the Merle's Inlet Marsh Walk. Let's talk about the saltwater side of things continuing on. I tell you what, so many things now. The Cobia and North Carolina bite has just been incredible. These guys up there, Captain Jod Owens, my buddy in Wrightsville, is having a great time right now catching a ton of Cobia. And we're jealous because in South Carolina, obviously, we cannot possess a Cobia. Even if it's in the state waters, we cannot possess it. But remember, in North Carolina, you guys have the liberty to do it. Make sure you get out there. Target them on those schools of bait that are run, running along the beach, the mouths of jetties, the mouths of inlets. You're going to find them stacked up looking for something to eat. Also, right there with them is the big bull reds. You know, you can find them. They're down in Georgetown. We're catching them here. We're catching them off the beach in Garden City and Myrtle Beach area. They're a great fight. Make sure you use heavy tackle. Limit those fights. Limit the chance of these fish dying during this fight or having a tough time reviving themselves after the fight. Make sure these fish swim off from the boat. They are a valuable, valuable resource to us, and we want you to enjoy them, but take care of them as you release them. This has been your Carolina's Report, brought to you by the Dead Dog Saloon. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. We are in the middle of a hot shark bite. Before you purest sport fishermen out there, stub your nose up to it. I'm gonna tell you what, there's not many angling opportunities we have that you can be so close to shore. You don't have to take a long boat ride. You can pop out here. It's really fun to take the kids and do this and to catch fish of this size, you know, just right here close to shore. You know, we don't have to run 60 miles to go catch blue marlin in the Gulf Stream. We can be right here within sight of land and catch 100 pound fish. Now, here, I'll get this guy. We'll get the gap for you. That's one thing you love about these circle hooks. They get them right in the corner of the mouth every time. Every time. I mean, we're not even using wire for sharks. That's how good they are, how reliable they are. No problem. That's awesome. Well, let's, uh, we're gonna let this guy go and uh, swim another day. As we grab his tail, there, I'll, uh, there we go. Throw him back. You know, Rob, something that's pretty cool that I learned with sharks, as far as handling them goes, is um, a lot of times you can control them with their dorsal fin. It almost like just stuns them if you bend their dorsal fin really? over. That's pretty cool. They'll calm down a lot. And um, that way you can kind of handle them. Like, you know, they, he just freezes. That's awesome. That's a pretty cool little trick. So we're gonna send him on his way. Great hey, job, buddy. great job. We will be right back. They're right here on the surface. Oh, that's a nice, oh my gosh. Oh, I got a bite. Uh-oh, are you on? You're still on, I'm Rob. still on, yeah. Back there. All right, I well, see uh, 
I hey, welcome it. back, folks. Fox Sports Outdoors. Well, look right here, guys. There's we got sharks. one. Sharks, sharks right in the water. I, I got a hook up. Here we go. I'm gonna let him take it a minute. Slow it into. Got him. Ease off. into the strike. Hook up. We got circle hook. We are hooked up. Oh man, look at the sharks back here going nuts. Woo. They're right here on the surface. Oh, that's a nice, oh my gosh. Oh, I got a bite. Uh-oh. Are you on? You're still on, I'm Rob. still on, yeah. I sure am. Rob's on. Get him, get him, Rob! We got him. Look at all of the oh. sharks, guys. This is crazy. <laughs> we are surrounded by sharks. Found us a shrimp boat. Uh-oh. Rigged up some live bait. Rob, I don't mean to interrupt you, and I'm sorry. <laughs> But I gotta tell you, I got him on too. Uh, <laughs> oh no, he got me. Oh, uh, he come off. We are fighting some some beasts. All right, let's see what's happening in your area. The next time you're on the water, if you're looking for a distinct advantage, check out the Hydrowave by TH Marine. Not only does it mask all the sound you make in your boat, but it just gets the fish to bite by putting bait fish sounds all through the water. Check them out at thmarine.com. Hey guys, thanks for joining us this week for the Tennessee Kentucky Fishing Report. You know, it's a wonderful time in this region right now. We have a diversity of lakes and rivers, um, a lot of different ways to fish, a lot of different species to fish for. I'm gonna highlight them for you. The night fishing bite is starting to kick on right now. Um, it's that time of year. Uh, your clearer, more upland reservoirs, your Center Hill, uh, your Dale Hollow are, are spectacular at night and they're really catching them good right now on a big Colorado blade spinnerbait. Uh, bass fishing, of course, this region's really steeped in. Uh, Lake Cumberland, Gunnersville, Percy Priest has been really good as of late. Uh, Lake Graham around Jackson, Tennessee, and of course Kentucky Lake is hard to beat. Uh, catfishing on the Cumberland River is really good right now too. They're catching some big fish. It's kind of a it's one of those things that doesn't get talked about a lot, but it's a world-class catfish uh, destination. And last but not least, I'm gonna tell you about a really cool thing I've been hearing about, uh, the striper bite on the Caney Fork. Uh, the Caney Fork is, is, is clear, it's very current off, uh, oriented, but there are some really, really big stripers in there. I've got a buddy that goes over there and just crushes them. So guys, it's an awesome place to be, awesome time to be here. We'd love to see you on the water. God bless. Come right over this way. No. <sighs> All right, there's a beautiful, now what kind of shark is that, Barrett? This is what we call, I, there's, there's probably an official name to them that I don't know, but I call them black nose sharks. Um, they range, this is about normal size for them. This, this fish right here is probably 50 pounds. And um, they're, you know, they're a lot of fun to catch, but let's see if we can just hold them up here and get a get a picture. These things are resilient, ain't gonna All hurt right. them. All right, sounds good. Got some. Let's see if I can get our hook out. Great deal. <sighs> Can I help you, Henny? Oh, I believe I got it. Just like that. Kind of control them here. Boy, now we're using a circle look, as you know, it's right in the corner of the mouth, so you going? this That's guy's it. gonna be released and let go and swim free. All right, I'm gonna hand me that rod and yeah. I'll set it down here. All right. And you grab his tail. That sounds up, good. I'm gonna step right up there. I'll let you get by me. Got it. Oh, oh come here, by the tail. All right. So, uh, that's probably, like I say, about a 50 pound shark. Yeah. And uh, we're again off the uh, coast of Ocean Isle, North Carolina. You guys can do this in uh, your area, I'm sure. Again, we uh, we just found some shrimp boats and uh, it was a really balmy day, if you can tell by the waves. So we just find, tried to find something fun to do and this is fun, is it not? It is, man. It's always fun when you're catching. And we, are, sure. we, we are catching, so. Well, we're gonna let this guy go back and let uh, take a commercial break and uh, we'll be back with Fox Sports Outdoors in just a few minutes. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Motor Guide Trolling Motors. Motor Guide, because accuracy matters. Lawrence Electronics, celebrating 60 years of fish finding excellence. Find, navigate, dominate. And Exide Technologies, powering the world forward. All right, well, I'm going to leader this guy in. There you go. There Hopefully he is. Give me a chance. Watch out. Oh, he wasn't ready, Barrett.
Welcome back, show, folks. If you're just tuning in, we are uh, Fox Sports Outdoors on the air. We are fighting some sharks off the coast of Ocean Isle, North Carolina. I've got my good buddy Bear McMullen from Ocean Isle Fishing Center with me. And uh, Bear, this has just been a ball. This is, I don't know how many of these guys we probably could catch today. They are just well, uh, phenomenal fish to fight. They are, and I gotta tell you, I'm a little upset with you, Rob. You told me that I wouldn't have to do any work if I came. I don't, I don't believe I said that. Oh, well, it is fun to catch a fish no matter what. It is a balmy day out here. We're sweating, we're catching big fish. We're having fun. All right, well, I'm gonna leader this guy in. There you go, there Hopefully he is. Give me a chance. Oh, he wasn't ready, Barrett. He wasn't ready. You know, it's one thing we talk about, Rob, the prestigious offshore blue water fishing for big tunas and marlins and things like that. People always ask, well, how do you get good at that? How do you get good at handling those fish? And I tell them the best practice you could get is sitting here on the beach and catch these big sharks. That's for sure. You know, you get to used to handling bigger fish on the, on the leader like this, and it's good training for that, that type of stuff. Hooked him right in the fin. Sure did. There you go. All right. Flyers. That guy was hooked in the fin. Circle looks even hooked fish in the fin. Nice job, Barrett. Yeah, you know, look, at, look at where all the other sharks were chewing on him, trying to get the bait away from him. <laughs> he'll heal up and he'll be fine. Uh, but that's what happens in a school of sharks. So again, this is fun. We're gonna let this guy go. Right now, let's go see what's happening in your area and find some fishing reports. This part of the program is brought to you by Visit Jacksonville. Northeast Florida offers great fishing, family fun beaches, top restaurants and resorts that are easy to get to, and offer outdoor fun for everyone. So come on, visit Jacksonville. Well, my good friend Jake Marcus says that Lower Mobile Bay has really been on fire lately for spotted sea trout fishing. A lot of rain in that part of the, of the state has uh, pushed a lot of fresh water into Mobile Bay and uh, the fish have stacked up toward the low Mobile Bay area around the oil and gas rigs in about 10 to 20 feet of water. Uh, the Theodore Canal area has been good for trout, reds, and mangrove snapper. Over in Georgia, Captain Tim Cunning on St. Simons Island says the flounder fishing has been excellent. These fish are going one to two pounds. Uh, they're, they're catching them on uh, uh, mid mud minnows and small mullet baits. Also, the trout fishing has been good and a pretty good size for South Georgia. Uh, these fish are in 10 to 12 feet of water and are catching those on weighted hooks with a soft plastic fluke. Offshore Georgia, Spanish mackerel and kingfish are in 40 to 60 feet of water. And in Mississippi, uh, again, it's redfish everywhere in those marsh areas in the lower rivers uh, from Pascagoula all the way to Bay St. Louis. Uh, they like these wake baits, small mini crank baits. The H2O Express is a real productive uh, lure now for redfish. And in state waters, snapper fishing has been great out to nine miles with some cobia, Spanish mackerel, and kingfish mixed in. Well, that's it for the coast. Get out in the water and take a youngster with you when you go. This week's Alabama, Georgia, and Mississippi freshwater fishing update is brought to you by Southern Saltwater Fly Fishing Magazine. This destination-oriented e-zine covers the South Atlantic and Gulf Coast from Maryland to Texas and the Caribbean Islands. Subscriptions are free at www.southernsaltflyfishing.com. Now we're about to officially enter the summer season and across the deep south we're already smothered in muggy heat. Daytime temperatures are breaking into the 90s on a regular basis. Under these conditions, you need different tactics to continue to catch fish. In Mississippi this week, that means heading to Eagle Lake in the western part of the state. This oxbow off the Mississippi River is just north of Vicksburg and it's a prime location for catching hybrid bass right now. The secret is to use electronics to find the schools of shad in the deeper parts of the lake. The hybrids will be just beneath those bait fish. Once you've located the shad and hybrids, a good tactic is throwing diving crank baits and you want to keep that retrieved just under the bait fish. The best colors are blue and silver or black and silver. In Georgia, a good option right now is float trip on the Flint River below the Blackshear Dam near the town of Cordell. These small crankbaits and plastic worms will produce shoal bass in the rocky portions of the river. The spotted bass are biting right now on the points that meet the old Coosa River channel in Alabama's Jordan Lake. These bass often tip the scales at three to five pounds each. 
Be sure to join Fox Sports Outdoors again next week, Thursday night at 6. Or catch the repeat airing Sunday morning at 8.30. And you can always watch the latest episode in full HD on the front page of our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com. Plus, catch up on all past episodes by clicking the archive button. And see lots of our how-to and product videos by selecting the how-to button. Join our online fishing community. Just click the like button on our Facebook page for access to daily posts with lots of fishing news, videos, and frequent giveaways. And stay up to date with all the latest fishing information and photos by following our Twitter feed. Fox Sports Outdoors is brought to you by Tracker Boats. It's more than a boat, it's a tracker. Mercury Marine, go boldly. And Costa Sunglasses, see what's out there. Welcome back everyone. It's time for the Ask the Pro segment, where viewers get expert answers from fishing's finest. This week's question comes from Kyle who asks, how can I specifically target smallmouth bass? For the answer, we checked with Bassmaster Elite Angler, Ott Defoe. You know, a lot of our lakes in Tennessee, we're blessed to have largemouth and smallmouth. Some lakes even have a population of spotted bass. But if I'm fishing one of those lakes that has a population of both largemouth and smallmouth, but I specifically want to target smallmouth, one of the main things I'm gonna do is stay in the main part of the lake. I may fish some pockets and fish some coves, but I'm never gonna target those smallmouth in the very, very back of the cove, even when they're spawning. Smallmouth like to spawn on a point, a secondary point, even a main lake point that's kind of protected from the wind, those are the kind of places those smallmouth are going to be. So that's the biggest thing to tell anyone is that in our lakes in Tennessee, those smallmouth very, very rarely go to the very back of a pocket. So always stay on the main lake, you know, and or very, very close to it is the biggest key I know to tell you. Thanks, Ott. If you have something to ask one of our experts, simply visit our website and follow the Ask the Pro link to submit your question. Now it's time to give away a new pair of sunglasses on the Costa Catch of the Week. We're having the time of our lives fighting these sharks. We are uh, going to move up to the next shrimp boat, start another drift, do that all over again. Maybe release a, a little bit bigger one this time. In the meantime, it's time for our Costa Catch of the Week. This week's winner is Michael Constantino of St. Augustine, Florida, who landed this 22-pound redfish off St. Simons Island in Georgia. Congratulations, Michael. If you want to enter the contest, it's simple. Just visit our website at foxsportsoutdoors.com, then navigate to the right side of the page and click on the Costa Catch box. Follow the instructions and send us your big fish photo, and you could be the next winner of a new pair of Costa sunglasses. And to view the entire current line of Costas, simply go back to our website and click on the Costa logo. Thanks for joining us, folks. We had an absolute ball today on the water. Hopefully some of the techniques we did today you guys can use in your home waters. Bear will be back next week. In the meantime, tight lines, go out, catch some fish, enjoy the outdoors. <laughs>